Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and I'm here today with Alan, who's going to be talking to us about one of Condi's coolest products, which is our tech board. He's going to go over how it's used and how we should press it. Hi, this is the uh, Condi Systems tech board, which is short for architectural board. And if you look at it, it's like a super compressed felt that's kind of like a kind of like a solid brick when they when they squash it that tight. And so it's fibrous. You know, you can feel over the top that it's really fibrous. It's got a lot of different uses, a lot of really cool variable applications. You'll, you see it often, or this material, you see it in uh, media rooms uh, where there's loudspeakers, where there's um, entertainment centers. You see it in recording studios uh, because it has sound buffering qualities. It's really great for okay. sound insulation. You can also make, this is what we really specialize uh, with this product, you can make uh, ceiling tiles out of it. You look up into the ceiling of any uh, office okay, building, cool. like doctor's offices, like schools, or like office buildings. And uh, that's actually what we're going to do today. We're going to have something that's meant to go into the ceiling. Printing it, the instructions for printing it are actually very easy, really simple, since it's like a soft substrate, but just hard. <laughs> you only have to press it for a, a minute and 30 seconds with medium pressure at 400 degrees. And when you print this out, you're going to be using wide format. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we'll get started on applying the transfer. All right. Now, for applying the transfer, I do a lot of my large substrates a little bit differently than most of the desktop substrates. With a lot of your desk desktop substrates, you just fold the back, fold the excess paper over the back and tape it. But I don't do that with this substrate, at least. I'll cut it all the way to the edge really carefully. I give myself about a good inch of bleed so I don't have to worry about cutting too much of the image off. This way, I can lay it on top of the substrate and get a good idea of where it ends. All right, so we're about to apply the transfer. I've got my nice, neatly trimmed transfer right here. I'm going to lay it over, check all the corners. I remember I gave myself a lot of bleed. I have about an inch of bleed. So I'm not going to run the risk of letting it slide off the end. Now I do this to avoid flipping it because this is such a big substrate. I don't want to flip it and mess up the transfer and allow it to move. So what I'll do is once it's on in a good place, and I peel back a corner and I spray it down. I do the same thing on the other side. There you go. Keeps me from having to flip it. It keeps it in line. So now we're going to slide it under the press and we're going to press it for a minute and a half at 400 degrees with medium pressure. Alright, now it's done. We can peel it off right away. As you can see, it's a bright, vivid transfer on this interesting substrate that's kind of like a fabric and kind of like a brick. How do but you need to let this cool? Flat. You may have to be careful not to move it because when it's hot, it can deform and it can mold. You can mold it into different shapes and bend it. Uh, so if I were to sit it on the ground uh, and then let it bow or bend, it would, it would, dry, it would cool that way and it would uh, become solid. Okay, so it's important to keep it cool and flat. Yes, All until right. uh, for about 30 seconds to a minute. And this we did have to use wide format printing and obviously a much larger press. That's right. So, so they can always uh, call their Condi sales reps to get a quote on a large format system or they can get in touch with print services to have us do it for them. We, this is one of the products we do often here. Okay, so if they don't have the large equipment, they can have Condi agent do it for them. That's right. All right. Well, you've heard all about our tech board and for more products and services by Condi, you'll want to visit us at Condi.com. And for our instructions as well, because they do change as our products and equipment change, be sure to watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us today, Alan. Thank you. You're welcome.